After the Tesla semi-fire that burned for 12 hours and sparked controversy, many people started jokingly suggesting that Tesla's EVs should stand for forging explosive vehicles. Now some believe that while the Tesla Semi's 900 kilowatt hour battery pack offers great performance, it's dangerous when it catches fire, potentially releasing thousands of gallons of toxic gases. However, it's important to note that this isn't entirely Tesla's fault. In this video, we'll dive into the details behind the Tesla Semi's battery, why it burned for so long, and what new battery technology Tesla might adopt for its electric trucks. This is Tesla Global, let's go. In the comments section of discussions about the highway fire, one person mentioned that the Tesla Semi's battery contains 63,000 lithium ion cells. If the entire battery caught fire, each cell would supposedly emit six liters of toxic gas. Multiplying that by 63,000 would result in 378,000 liters of gas being released into the atmosphere. While the accuracy of these numbers is uncertain, let's break down what we do know about the Semi's battery. Currently, the Tesla Semi uses 2,170 cells with a 510 kilowatt hour battery for the 300 mile range model and a 900 kilowatt hour battery for the long range 500 mile variant. Elon Musk has confirmed that the Semi consumes approximately 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile and Pepsi's drivers have successfully tested the truck's 500 mile range. So, there's little reason to doubt the battery's performance. But the questions remain, how many cells are in a Tesla semi-battery and what does the battery weigh? To clarify this, we performed a relative calculation based on publicly available data. As mentioned earlier, the semi is equipped with a 900 kilowatt hour battery pack that uses 2,170 cells. According to our findings, the energy density of these cells is 269 watt-hours per kilogram, which is pretty typical for long-range EVs. Each 2,170 battery is also recorded with a weight of approximately 68 grams. Based on all that information, you can see the calculation below, which indicates that this battery pack contains about 13,440 cells. We arrived at this number because we also performed a similar calculation for the Cybertruck's battery pack, and the result was close to the estimated 13,440,468 cells in the 123 kilowatt hour battery pack for the pickup truck. The semi has been confirmed to weigh 20,000 pounds and 23,000 pounds for the two variants, respectively. Considering the number of battery cells and the weight of the cells, this could result in the Semi's battery pack weighing around 7,400 pounds. You might remember Sandy Monroe almost giving up trying to disassemble Tesla's battery because it was difficult to take it all apart. So, we don't deny that the 10,000 pound battery pack provides impressive performance for the Tesla Semi, making it the first electric truck to hit 500 miles on a single charge. It also set a record of 1,176 miles in just one day at Run on L. If you are enjoying the video, please leave a comment and smash the like button to show your support. However, in that recent highway accident, this battery pack became the center of attention, not in a good way. In a previous incident, a Model Y caught fire and was completely destroyed while charging at a supercharging station. Putting out the fire took about 10,000 gallons of water over five hours. Clearly, a bigger battery pack is going to take more time to manage, which is why the semi-fire burned continuously from 3 a.m. until 4 p.m. before it was finally brought under control. Other drivers were kept away from the interstate for at least half a mile in both directions because the fire department said the toxic smoke from the burning battery 
could pose a danger if you breathed it. Details about Tesla semi-battery fires. In a previous episode, we delved deep into the main causes of large truck fires, including both direct and indirect factors. Although the exact reason for the driver's accident remains undetermined, it is possible that he just fell asleep or lost control for a tiny second. This was the direct cause of the fire, as the semi's electric battery pack would not spontaneously ignite without a major collision. We also rule out the possibility that the fire originated from the cargo, as at the time of the incident, the truck was not carrying a trailer or any cargo. The 2170 is a type of lithium-ion battery, primarily composed of lithium nickel, cobalt, aluminum oxide, NCA. It is known for its stable performance, relatively low cost, and ease of production. However, despite its advantages, the primary drawback of this battery type is its safety, as it still relies on traditional lithium-ion technology. While it's not prone to spontaneous combustion, it can become dangerous under certain conditions. In the recent Tesla semi-fire, the cause was a strong collision between the truck and a tree, which impacted the battery pack. As seen in images, the battery pack of the semi is located beneath the cabin at the vehicle's base. It consists of nine large modules of varying sizes, with the central ones larger than those on the sides. Unfortunately, placing the battery at the front of the truck makes it vulnerable to impact during collisions, such as when the truck's front end struck the tree. This force can damage and deform the battery pack and its cells some of which may rupture entirely. Commenting on the fire, Chief Cal Ryan Wunner discussed the challenges it posed for the fire department. He stated, When they break down, they start feeding off each other and catch fire. They burn themselves out using the battery as fuel. Another fire chief, Nolan Hale, added that an exothermic reaction occurs inside the battery cells, which are heavily secured by design, making it difficult for responders to access and extinguish. We might not know this, but the electrolyte and chemicals inside an electric vehicle battery cell don't require oxygen from the air to burn. This means that batteries can continue to burn even when exposed to tons of water. This is why the fire was so intense. Despite Cal Fire Department's efforts to put it out with thousands of gallons of water, after realizing that the water wasn't effective on these battery cells, they had to wait until the lithium-ion battery cells burned out on their own and cooled down to about 100 degrees Celsius. During the time the battery packs were burning, the temperature was reported to be 540 degrees Celsius, according to California Highway Patrol's thermal gun. While a typical gas fire requires about 700 gallons of water to put out, an electric vehicle fire needs a lot more and is even more challenging with those big electric trucks. Authorities also moved the truck to an outdoor facility and monitored it for 24 hours. However, the battery showed no signs of reigniting. Replacing the battery for the Tesla Semi might soon be implemented, which is necessary because we understand that the Semi also has a new version that allows drivers to operate the truck for long-distance routes. Dan Priestley confirmed that they'll be adding a sleeper cab option for the Semi. Instead, 4,680 cells would probably be much more suitable, especially since Tesla already has a bunch of these batteries. Not long ago, Lars Maravi also mentioned they have enough 4,680s for their entire electric vehicle lineup, but currently only the Cybertruck gets priority. The Tesla Semi uses the 4680, which makes sense given that both the big rig and the 4680 are made at the same factory. Tesla's 4680 is designed with several improvements over the 2170 offering better performance and safety. 
This makes it crucial for high-performance products like the Tesla Semi. With its large cylindrical design and tableless architecture, the 4680 battery enhances heat dissipation and reduces the risk of overheating, helping the vehicle operate more reliably even under heavy loads and long distances. Thanks to these advantages, the Semi will soon transition to using the new 4680 battery. However, not right away. Units currently being made in Giga Nevada still use the 2170s, and if our predictions are correct, Tesla will only switch to 4680 for the Semi. Once the Semi production facility is complete and the new version of the Semi goes into production. Let me know what you think about the up-and-coming Tesla Semi truck in 2024. Do you think it will become a success for Tesla? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching Tesla Global. This has been super interesting to explain the Tesla Semi truck. See you in the next one for more Tesla and electric vehicle news.